All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about clearing contents without actually touching formulas. So I've had this question in Excel many times. I never had this question in Google Sheets. And to my surprise, I wasn't able to find a feature in Google Sheets that allows you to do this. Now, generally speaking, if we have a worksheet like this and see some places we have some data that was just typed in, and some cases there is a formula here and there's another data cells and then there's some more formulas and there could be more formulas, I don't know, down here too. See, sometimes there's a formula, sometimes there isn't. So we want to be able to clear this information without actually touching the formula cells. Now, if you're just clearing the regular way, you just select the area, you press delete, that clears the area. The problem with that, it clears everything, including the formulas. Now you could go and select each section manually using command or control and if you have a large sheet with a lot happening, this could be challenging to do. So one way to get this done is to use find and replace. So I'm gonna select this entire area where I have this mix of formulas and some text and I'm gonna go under edit and go find and replace. So under find and replace, I want to be able to search in cells and the formulas as well. So I'm gonna click on this also search within formulas. So you can see how it opens up the formulas so we can see where the formulas are. Now I want to basically clear all the ones that are not formulas. If you look here, all the formula cells start with an equal sign. So if I find everything that starts with an equal sign, I should be able to find all the formula cells. So to do something like this, I can use this search using regular expression, which allows us to search using regular expression. So in regular expression, starts with, you do by putting this caret shift six character in front. And then if I do equal sign, that means basically starts with equal sign. So then I want to grab all the characters after the equal sign too. So if I do dot and star, that means zero or more other characters following that equal sign. So right now, if I keep everything as is and do replace by nothing, just leave it blank, and do replace all so you can see what happens, you'll see that this will clear all the formula cells. This is the opposite of what I was trying to do. But we were able to just pick the formula cells by using this pattern and clear them. Now I'm gonna undo that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and change my regular expression. So now I'm gonna convert that equal sign to a set by putting that in the square brackets. Let me try to zoom in a little more here. So square brackets here. So this converts it to a set in regular expression and in sets we can do negative sets. So for example, if I do a caret, which is the same character over here, inside of this square bracket, that means we're converting this to a negative set, which means we don't want it to be an equal sign instead of we want it to be an equal sign. Now with this, I'm just gonna zoom out again. If I just go ahead and do replace all, you'll see that now I got all the other things removed, but the formulas are still in there. And if I press done, see, we're back to this. Now we have our formulas and the cells are removed. And we can then go here and type some information and you'll see formulas work as they should. So that's find and replace way to get this done. Now, another way I'm gonna show you is how to do this using a script. So to do that, let's open a script editor. So I'm gonna go tools script editor. I'm gonna dismiss this and name the script. And I'm gonna rename this function. Doesn't matter what you call it, just the function name. So here we're gonna do a couple of things. The first thing we need to do, we need to access the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and save that in a variable. So we're gonna get our active spreadsheet. Then we need to get the worksheet we're trying to work with. The worksheet is this weekly timesheet worksheet. I'm gonna copy that name, go back to this and create a variable for that. So the worksheet, we're gonna access through the spreadsheet that we did here, and we're gonna go by name and find that worksheet. So now we need to access the range we're trying to clear. 
So the range is gonna be, if you look here, from B6 through P12. So there it is, that's the range variable. Now we're accessing that through the worksheet coming from here. So that's again from B6 through P12, which is basically starting here, ending over here. So now in that range, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get formulas. So I'm gonna create a variable. And from that range, there is this method get formulas, not formula, but formulas, plural. And that returns an array of formulas. So let's just do this so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna console lock that formulas. So I'm gonna run this code. It's gonna ask me for some permissions the first time I run this. So let's look at our logs to see what it looks like. So now that returns an array of arrays and it doesn't probably have the whole thing or maybe it does, but what we're trying to pay attention to here, if you look here, it's just an empty string here, then comma, another empty string, and then comma, and then we have this if formula returned here as next thing in this list. So the reason for that is because we're looking through this range and this first one is not a formula. So that brings up an empty string. The second one is not a formula, so that also gives you an empty string. And the third one here is a formula, so that gives us the actual formula in that cell. So see if I look here, that's the same formula that's returned over there. And then the next cell after that is not a formula, so it should be empty again, empty again. So basically anything that's not a formula, it's gonna be an empty string. Anything that is a formula is gonna return the formula. Now using this array, we can just go back and write to the same range with this array and what should happen, so if I take that range and do set formulas, I'm gonna comment this, and then I'm gonna pass that formulas from here to this function. And what it's gonna do is gonna take that array that had empty strings for some and formulas for the others and pass it to this same range to set the formulas. And what's going to happen when I run this, now check this out, we have this, I'm gonna go back and rerun this. And if you look back here, it's basically clearing all of these because we set to set the formulas to nothing in those cells because that's what we had returned from the array. And these ones are set to the same formulas they had before, so we basically end up getting the same thing back in the cells. And essentially we end up just clearing non-formula cells. And that's a script method to get the same thing done. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.